Now, the next thing you're probably wondering is how do we add emojis into the mix? So something that's really nice here is um, to add an emoji, one of the things that you're gonna do is let's say, how can I do these little things? This is the place where I want the emoji. So I'm gonna highlight that text. I'm gonna hit title and add just title. And then I'm gonna hit uh, FN on my keyboard. And now it brings up my emoji options, right? So now I could even type like small or how. Okay, let's say this one right here. So I hit think, I'm thinking, right? Uh, the way that you, you highlight this, and if you wanted to increase the size, you could go Boom, so your emoji's a little bit bigger, right? Oh, whoops. Let's make sure to select this layer. And then I'll say I move it over here. In my timeline, as you can see, it is a layer above this caption track here. So if I was to come back to the video. How can I do these little things whenever I... Right, so if I wanted to shorten that, I now just shorten my little emoji pop up. How can I do these little things whenever I have the opportunity? Okay, so adding emojis, pretty easy. Easy. You can kind of do the same thing in terms of rotating them, adding a little bit of a shadow to it if you would like and things of that nature. Um, it's pretty easy to do this in Descript relative to Premiere. In Premiere Pro, you would have to drag actual image files of that emoji that you wanted to use um, into the timeline. And if you have to do it that way, just make sure that you're downloading a transparent version from Emojipedia org or .com. Uh, that's typically where I grab that from. But if you have the FN button or you can basically go copy and paste that icon from Emojipedia, uh, you should be able to paste it in one of these text blocks pretty easily. So let's just say I wanna add that. Boom, you do that pretty cool. Okay, now the next thing is gonna be, let's say we wanna add some GIFs and B-roll into the mix. So on top of the emojis, uh, I wanna highlight this section right here, okay? Once I highlight this chunk of text, I'm gonna come over into here and I typed in hard because it was like hmm, slightly harder in the short term. What can we choose? Let's say it's this one. Okay, so we've got this little clip right here. It perfectly overlaid that on top of my selected chunk of text. So now it's just gonna be a positioning thing. Let's say I wanna bring this all the way up to the top so you can still kind of uh, see his face, okay? Uh, also, my text, for example, now I can't see my captions. It might be slightly harder. Right, so one thing I can do is I'm gonna right click this layer and you can actually um, move backwards or send to back, uh, or you could drag it in your timeline as well, but I'm just gonna hit move backwards, and all of a sudden, our caption has popped up to the front. So, it might be slightly harder in the short term. They're gonna improve my life in the- Just like that. Now, let's come back to that section because I wanna show you uh, this right here. When you select some B-roll, let's come over to this side panel. It's on loop automatically. So you wanna usually switch it to once. <clears throat> when you switch it to once, it's gonna play once and then it's over. But if you need it to fill, let's say five seconds and it loops over and over for five seconds, you would just select loop and then it would fill that time frame. So as you can see, I would just work through the script line by line and any moment where there's an appropriate place to actually add a visual, whether it's an emoji, whether it's a shift in the way that the text is animated or whether it's adding a GIF to kind of break up the static nature of it. Anything that you can add here into these short form clips definitely holds attention and helps in a fast paced environment. Um, you just wanna keep these scenes in mind as you are doing them because it's a different way of thinking about editing. I mean, in Premiere Pro and in a lot of softwares that you use, it's just not laid out like this. You just split the clip and you're good to go or add a cut. But here you just need to keep that in mind um, and make good creative decisions as you are going through here. So 
Just remember as you are deciding where to kind of add these different pieces of B-roll and different visual effects that you continue to make scenes. So when I hit enter and just add a scene, this is going to make it very seamless for me to simply drag and drop uh, any additional footage that I want in here. So let's just say we swing for the fences, right? It's like we go, so right here, we swing for the fences, right? That alone, that line, if I want to come over here, add a scene, Okay, if I wanna isolate this line right here, and let's just say that I actually have a, a, a video image of me, you know, swinging a baseball bat and that's laying around somewhere, I would literally just drag that file and hover it over this piece of text right here and it would overlay whatever image or video that is directly on top, just like it did with this uh, GIF that I selected. So if I come over to the GIF here, I could select anything and it would basically uh, consume that whole scene. Typically when you've got a file, like let's say um, all of your files are gonna show up here. So if for example, I had uh, another piece of B-roll, let's just assume this is different, and I wanted to change exactly which part of it I want to use, I would use this segment right here, okay? So I want the very end and I'm gonna hit add. And as you can see, it just cut up that specific moment. Swing for the fences, right? And kept that piece of B-roll. Now let's undo that, but you get the idea. Um, so shooting your own B-roll of you typing, talking, working out, doing whatever that could be used in your own short form clips, that's definitely awesome and it spices up your videos and makes it more engaging. But if you don't have that, then the three things that I would use are uh, using word animations and captions, using emojis, using GIFs, and other images that would help um, to keep it visually stimulating.